By the time you read this letter, I'll be long gone. Because it's the only way I think my voice will ever be heard. This piece of yellow paper is the only way I'll ever get any of you to stop, listen, and really get to know me, Victor Van Leer. My childhood was turbulent. But even in the most unsettling times, there was a break in the tide. My father was the rocky water, and my mom's was the gentle surf. Pops did a lot of foolish stuff, but when he wasn't trashed and was actually taking the time to be a father, he'd say, Vic, you've got one life, a fragile life. God can take this life whenever he sees fit. So live, and live plentifully. Each day God gives, live it in abundance. My pops was a smart dude, the most dangerous kind, educated and street smart. And this apple didn't fall too far from the tree. My mom's, yo, she was an angel. No matter how heavy the hand, she would do anything for me. And by chance, when I was casted into that darkness, she was the voice I followed back to the light. I was so young, too young. But my decaying flesh carries the scars and memories that won't fade. She's the reason I'm as loving as I was. She taught me to look at others as human beings and not objects. Now, where there's pain, a simple kiss, hug, or I love you could disperse that rainy day. That's why I'll, that's why I'll never understand why. Why? Why she of all people was taken from me. The only one good thing I ever had in my life and that was my mother. You ever feel lonely? Well, I didn't have any siblings. And no one would claim me as their own. It is the first time in my life I even... I question the point of living at all. If it wasn't for your family taking me in, I swear I was going to open my wrist or jump in front of the A train. But I found love. And I found it through my new family. Mr. P, man, he was the complete opposite of who my dad was. He was foreign to me. He was a good, honorable man. And to be honest, he intimidated me. I didn't believe I could ever be the man he tried teaching me to be. Miss Martha, damn. <laughs> Real talk, I was in love with that woman. Freak, if you're reading this right now, I'm sorry. I never met one hottie that came close to her. Mr. Peter's a lucky dude. But unlike my dad, he could recognize the angel in his presence. Aside from my own mom, she's the only other person I truly think understood me. I just wanted to be loved, yo. I just wanted to belong. CC, man, I've seen her make the hardest dudes break at the wrist. I've seen her turn coal into diamonds and then back into coal again, just by doing this intense stare she do. CC is no joke. I love her, though. We used to be close. And again, I'm sorry, freak, but when your sister get all mad and on one, damn, I just, whew. Cece, I love you more than you will ever know. I hope in my time past, you can finally forgive me. Yvette is beautiful. A woman about success, work ethic, and never settling for less, which that's why I didn't stand a chance. Freak was king, and me, a big, fat zero. She was cool, though. Chill. 
And when she wasn't being all uptight, that girl was mad funny. I could see why you fell in love with her. She could make any man better. She was exactly what I wanted, and definitely what you needed. Frequency vibrations. My boy, my blood. I'm sorry I couldn't be as great as you. I'm sorry I was your weight and not your pedestal. I wanted to be a lot of things. I thought I was the next prodigy. Then you hit that court, and I knew. It was it. It was you, freak. It was you. I didn't have much of a life, at least not one I could be proud of. I never said this to you, but I wanted to be you. All I wanted was a taste, just a little taste of everything I never had. Can you blame me? Like my dad said, life is short, and I just wanted to live it abundantly. I know it hurts, but your life would be better without me. There's nothing holding you down anymore, freak. I believe in you. And I always look out for you from above, B. Hey, bring that Jesus piece back for your boy, though. You know, that shuttle's work. I love you, freak. At least I did something right. At the end, I felt as though I had no place here anymore. I never felt as though I belonged. Maybe, maybe my greatness is in the heavens. Or maybe, just maybe, my greatness is you, freak. I just hope you and the fam remember me as I remember my mom. Look at people like human beings, not objects. Because if you wait, it's often too late. So just say you love them now, man. Be the voice they can follow out of darkness. Be to them what my mother was to me. An angel. Your boy. Rest in power. Vic. Salutations, I am Sharonis Jackson portraying the role of Frequency Vibrations, a.k.a. Freak. I am from the Inland Empire, California, Philadelphia born, just showing love to everybody out there. That's a F-O-F. Hello, world. It's your boy, Wade Wilson, a.k.a. Vic Van Leer, Basquiat, an F-O-F, friend of Freak. Hey, I was born in Oakland, raised in Richmond, represent all day. Love y'all. What's up, world? My name is Michelle Michinor. I play CC. I'm representing Jersey. Shout out to my people on the shore and in the city. I'm now residing in LA, living the dream. What's up, family? This is Gina Breedlove from Fort Greene, representing the Republic of Brooklyn, New York. I play Miss Martha. I wish you all so much love and peace. What's up, everybody? My name is Arthur Richardson. I play Mr. Pete. I'm a GI soldier, that's Gary, Indiana, for those that don't know. And remember, it's not just a game. What's up, y'all? My name is Anya Engel Adams, AKA Yvette Ming Ching. And I'm originally from upstate New York by way of South Florida, representing for all the independent ladies. And just let them know we got our own, boo. Mwah. Al Palagonia, born in Brooklyn, New York, raised in Queens, New York, reprising the role of super sports agent Dom Pagnotti. That's right, the man, the myth, the legend, the king number one, the best. You see this watch? That's diamonds and platinum, 
Gold, forget about it. Silver, forget about it. That's like speed and power, and that's what I have. I'm the best, and I will represent you. Freaking and vibing, freaking and vibing, freaking and vibing. Go to K16, yeah, boy! Yo, hear me clearly and hear me good. I am Paul Garangelli from Petaluma, California, also known as P-Town, home of the Butter and Egg Parade and MoCap Madness, and I play the team owner. Hello, my name is Spike Lee. I hope you enjoyed our NBA 2K16 feature film Living the dream. Dolly, a little faster, a little faster. You know I'm on the dolly. This is my signature shop. We had a great, great time doing this. And as I said before, I've never done this before. It was a very, 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 very great learning experience for me. Worked with a great group of people in front of and behind the camera. And you know what? I want you to see everybody work on this film. So crew, come on in. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. All right. Freaking and vibing. Freaking and vibing. Welcome to your second NBA season. Now that your career is progressing and your brand is growing, you will be challenged with managing increasing demands off the court. In between games, you'll have decisions to make on how to spend your off days. Will you refine your skill on the court and work on increasing your attributes in live practices? Do you want to earn fame and extra money by partnering with global brands? Or would you rather establish personal connections with some of the game's most influential personalities, which bring with them a variety of rewards? The choice is yours. Endorsements is where your agent, Dom Pagnotti, will keep you up to date on all your potential partners. As your star power grows, your endorsement opportunities will grow with it. Consider contract offers carefully. While major brands are willing to pay big money for your name, they also demand a large commitment of off days. Time is valuable for an NBA superstar. Don't overpromise. Welcome to Connections. Here, you're able to form relationships with NBA players, legends, and other personalities to earn a wide variety of rewards. Unique badges, clothing items, VC, My Team cards, and even your own Terminal 23 inspired MyCourt are just some of the available items. Spend your off days carefully.
It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, basketball fans. Ernie Johnson here, joined by Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Tonight, two teams start fresh for their first game of the season. Both squads believing this will be a great year. Tonight, it'll be the Sacramento Kings up against the Lakers in Los Angeles. And for Los Angeles, they struggled in this matchup last season. Only one win for them through four games. They'd like to make a statement tonight. And of course, Freak playing here tonight. You probably heard his story by now. Lost a friend uh, of a long time uh, in the off season. Uh, very tough to deal with, obviously. How hard is it going to be for him to get his focus back, Shaq? It's going to be tough, Ernie. Uh, he lost someone that he knew for a long time, and it's going to weigh on him. Uh, this will be one of his most trying seasons of his career. Man, I feel for Freak, man. It's not going to be easy. I mean, but it's an opportunity to grow. You know, a lot of guys, Ernie, you put in this position, you know, you just kind of let the court be your refuge, man. Like, this guy is a strong kid. Strong kid. So well said, Kenny. That does it for us. Kevin Harlan standing by. Saying the NBA regular season is about to get underway, and here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. Kevin Harlan here, along with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. It's been a nice thing game, huh? Western Conference battles always fun. This time, it's the Los Angeles Lakers intent on protecting home court. First opportunity here in their inaugural game of the seed quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. We sat down with Freak to discuss how he is handling the loss of his close friend. You know, Freak was my brother. Blood couldn't have made us any closer. And um, everything feels like it just happened yesterday. So I'm, um, I'm just trying to take things one day at a time, you know. I'm very grateful for my family, my teammates and coaches for supporting me during this difficult season. Um, I miss Vic, but uh, I'll press on. Yeah. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Free Clark and his family. Without question, I'm really difficult. about anything else when you get between those lines and sometimes that can be helpful in the uh, process of moving forward well said your, your perspective is always appreciated appreciate that kevin the basketball here and what's been a good one kings lead by two live from the staples center you're watching 2k sports Hey guys, some keys to talk about from what I've seen so far. This is a tight ball game, but remember, this is our... Ladies and gentlemen, and it's been a back and forth game so far with... So the Kings win it. 
a narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, Clark Kellogg, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And Ernie Johnson is still in the building, folks, for the postgame show. Coming up next, the 2K Sports postgame show. Ernie Johnson here again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny Smith. Without further ado, let's present to you our Jordan player of the game, DeMarcus Cousins. He had an outstanding fourth quarter where he really shined, pouring it on heavy down the stretch. Just an unreal performance for him in so many ways. That was a player at the absolute, I mean, absolute top of his game. It's hard to imagine someone being any more dominant than he was tonight. The thing I like most about Cousins is the passion he plays the game with. Maybe he rubs some people the wrong way, but I don't want my big man smiling all the time. I want my big man to be mean. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA for Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew. I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon. Any reason you had such a hard time taking care of the ball tonight? Next. Why do you think they had such a hard time keeping you off the glass tonight? I'm just a beast, you know? Now, you guys like nicknames, right? So just call me the God of Glass, the Lord of Leap, the Prince of Pounding the... All right, you know what? This is getting weird. Any of those is good with me, though, all right? You went through a lot last year as you got acclimated to being in the NBA. And then you went through a tough time in the offseason with the death of your childhood friend, Victor. Can you explain your mindset to us as you try to move forward this season? Look, last year went by in a flash, so I ain't even thinking about it no more. It's about what I can do now with this team right here. Vic's gone, and sometimes I still can't believe it. But he's in a better place. And that has nothing to do with my play this season. None. So from now on, let's not bring up my past, and let's keep these things to basketball only, all right? I'm ready to take the next step this season, and that's all you need to know. Thank you. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello and welcome, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. We're glad to have you with us on 2K Sports. 
Tonight, it'll be the New Orleans Pelicans up against the Los Angeles Lakers at Staples Center. Taking a look at the Lakers, they are hungry for a win here. Last season, they got swept by this team. Four straight losses, something they haven't forgotten. And guys, we'll be watching Roy Hibbert tonight, arguably the league's premier rim protector. Kenny, his reach and length make it so difficult to try to get anything near the basket. Yeah, even if the best finishers in the game, they talk about Roy Hibbert when they come in the lane. They got to pay attention to him. He concentrates on defense more than offense, and he takes pride. He'll do the knowledge to the master builder. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Good to see you. How's the family? CC good? Yeah, she's good. They're all good. It's nice knowing you have family to have your back all the time. For sure. You gotta keep that support system in place. It makes a big difference over a long season. Good luck tonight, man. Thanks, man. Hey, you know we're taking this one, right? Not a chance, freak. Welcome, everyone. Let's get ready for... So we see New Orleans taking the W here. Well, Anthony, certainly a great win here tonight. What was the key to what this team is doing? The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player, Anthony Davis. He had a double-double and made a huge difference tonight. He never let up, and his performance really inspired the rest of his team. One thing you know about Davis is that he's always going to play with an insane amount. And that'll do it for tonight. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Greetings, NBA fans. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson, and seated beside me, Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. Tip-off coming up shortly from Oracle Arena as the Golden State Warriors will be going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. Looking at the Lakers, they're slogging through four straight losses coming into tonight's game, looking for answers, looking for a win to get them on track. It is clear now that the Lakers are going to have to start the rebuilding process. Some nice players to build around already, uh, but how long do you think it'll be, Kenny, until we see the Lakers as a title contender again? Wow, title contender? Woo! Freak, how you doing? What's up, man? I'm about to put on a show tonight. We'll see about that. My team's ready. Hey, you better hope so. That's the only chance you got. I'm going to remember that. Freak, it's on. <laughs> We've got NBA basketball in store for you. We're live at the Oracle Arena in Oakland. And Steph Curry, a player with in the gym range, he told us about his. I mean, we're five, six feet outside that three-point line. If I have a dribble, if I catch and shoot, if I have a good look, and I think Coach will allow me to take that shot. And, and it's tough to guard, especially when uh, you see a couple go in. Um, that basket gets a lot bigger. I was going to say, Greg, how big must that hoop look? The Steph Curry and tough to guard might be the under defense at the rim. Got right in his. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Yeah, they were the superior team in every department, in every category to me. Uh, uh, Yes, Kevin, thank you. I'm with Clay Thompson. You were able to really help out your team on the offensive end. What enabled such a big night of productivity for you? you know, I'm just used to the uh, pace of the game by now, and my teammates do a good job finding me when I'm open, so all credit goes to them. I, I just catch and fire when I'm open. Thank you, Clay. We so appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. Doris, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching the 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaq and the Jet as we present our Jordan Player of the Game. And that'll do it for this edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you enjoyed the show. From myself, Kenny Smith, 